a partner at the law firm of Mavar Woods in Richmond, Virginia. And to share my story with you is, is one that, that I'm happy to do because I feel so very blessed to have had the experience that I, I had and to have come through it in the way that I had. And, and I'm so extremely blessed to have my husband here with me today because he was an absolutely critical part of the experience and, and being able to make it through as for the incredible physicians and caretakers and nurses, everyone who, who was there to, to help me um, be a survivor. I have a vivid, vivid recollection of being in a client meeting at my office. We were actually having lunch on this particular day and, and it just happened that we were going around the room and introducing ourselves and, and providing an update on the work where we, we were, were handling. And as they were getting a little closer to me, I could feel something going on in, in my head. And I'm thinking, okay, I want to be able to make it through this meeting without um, having something go awry. And so fortunately, when they came to me, I recall that I was able to introduce myself and to um, share my comments. Um, but as soon as I was finished, it was critical that I, I get up, excuse myself. So I, I stepped away and, and as I was walking out, the, the president of the company um, wanted to stop me and thank me for the work I had done. And I, I, I hung in there and, and spoke as gracefully as I could. And then I got out of there and made it, um, made it actually to the stairwell of my building. Um, the receptionist saw me go there and, and she said, Jackie, are you all right? And I said, I just have to have to sit down. And she came in, fortunately came in and checked on me. And she said, you really need to call your doctor, your husband, whomever. So I, I called my doctor. I was able to share with her that I was experiencing some, some tremendous pain in my head and nausea and, and all of that. And she said, well, we've got to get, get you checked out. And, I, and she, she asked if I called my husband. I said, well, he's the next call. So I called him. Fortunately, he was able to break away from the lunch he was having and came right to where I was, still sitting in that stairwell. And, and actually, I'm going to now turn it to him because he has, a, has some insights that he can share as to when he arrived there at my office. What happened was she had two aneurysms, one had ruptured, and that was kind of what she was going through, and an AVM. We figured that out later, but you know, time is critical. And so we're strapping her in the gurney, rushing to the hospital. The shock of the moment really set in, because my wife is rarely sick. I mean, picture of health. Um, the shock was when the doctor came to me and said, Mr. Fulton, you have a decision to make. Your wife has some very serious issues going on. We can do, you know, just the two um, aneurysms, one apparently is ruptured and an ABM that all require attention. We can do two surgeries or we can do one and take care of it. It'll be kind of level 10 out of 10, serious. The combination of factors means that she'll probably have, you know, 50-50 chance of making it. If she does make it, um, through the surgery, it's uh, almost an 80% likelihood that she may have some challenges in going back to, to a high functioning lawyer, which is her practice, and um, it may, maybe a 1% chance of a total recovery back to what you guys have known for um, prior to coming here. And uh, you should also plan for an eight month recovery. Um, and so uh, we, we prayed, we got ourselves together, we I moved into the, uh, into the hospital and um, they, they went to work and the team uh, performed the surgery. I forgot how many hours it was. They came out and said, okay, she's all right. She made it through. Um, and um, we were back home in two weeks. 
she was back to work in four weeks and even driving, you know, the next month. And so we felt it was nothing short of a miracle. And as I'd say, I really don't remember all of the details of what I encountered, but what I do remember vividly is the confidence that I felt every time Dr. Jensen and the other doctors and the nurses came into my room and just showed me so much compassion, so much caring. I remember very, very well how comfortable that made me feel. We cannot say enough of thanks for all that they did to, to get us through this. We have been supporters of the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association for years. And now having this, this personal experience that makes us even more appreciative of those who support these critical, critical organizations and the, the really impactful work and research that they are doing. It, it is so important that we continue to support as much as we possibly can because what they are doing, the research that they are, are undertaking, it saves lives. And it is it is such a, an important role that they play in, in dealing with these issues. So thank you for all you do to, to support these organizations. And thank you to the the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association for all you do. Thank you so much. Thank you.